The mantle rock behind known super eruption extends into Northern California. Victor Camp has spent a lifetime studying volcanic eruptions around the world, starting in Saudi Arabia, then Iran, and finally in the Pacific Northwest. This geology lecturer believes that the mantle plume which is the source of this largest eruption is very interesting, because of its enormous size and its impact on our environment. Over the past two years, this deep interest helped him connect the dots and discover that the mantle source rocks rising from beneath Yellowstone National Park as a result of its periodic super eruptions also spread westward into Northern California and Oregon. On its westward journey, it acted as a catalyst for fairly young volcanic eruptions, meaning less than 2 million years old, in places like craters of the Moon National Monument before reaching Medicine Lake Volcano in the far northeast California, near the Oregon border. Mantle rocks spread laterally through narrow flow channels deep beneath the Earth's crust for more than 500 miles, bifurcating twice, first as they leave Yellowstone and again as they reach the California-Oregon border. The trail ends at Medicine Lake, an active volcano near Mount Shasta, and at Newberry Volcano, an active volcano about 20 miles south of Bend, Or. The discovery is important because it reveals how mantle plumes similar to those beneath Yellowstone behave as they feed some of the world's largest volcanic eruptions of basaltic lava, including those in Hawaii. Because the blob is not controlled by plate tectonics, it can appear and appear anywhere on the Earth, depending on where it breaks through the Earth's surface, Camp said. So. Knowing this will help us understand super eruptions that have happened before, and those that will happen in the future. The results of the self-funded research were published in the journal Geology. The mantle plume consists of very hot, low-density mantle rock. The mantle is one of the three main layers of planet Earth. We live in the Earth's crust, the thinnest layer and the mantle is the second densest layer extending from about 100 kilometers 62 miles below the earth's surface to about 2700 kilometers about 1680 miles and further down there is the earth's core which consists mostly of iron mixed with several other elements mantle plumes are technically mantle rock but because they are hotter and more buoyant than the surrounding mantle, they rise in a plume-like shape. When the Yellowstone plume first reached the base of the North American tectonic plate, it was blocked by the rigidity of the base of the cold plate that acted as a barrier. At a depth of around 100 kilometers, the plume begins to decompress and melt, while spreading laterally to the west. 